Surface metal and non-metal mines present a variety of potential safety and health hazards. Effective thorough workplace examinations are one way to help you to recognize and address some of these hazards before they become more dangerous. Today, we're going to find out about some of these hazards and give you some ideas and tips on how to look for them. Things may be different at your mine, of course, but the importance of an effective workplace examination is the same, no matter the size of your operation or the product that's mined there. Workplace examinations, surface metal, non-metal. Workplace examinations benefit me mostly through being able to have a safe workplace for our employees to come in every day, be able to work safely throughout the day and go home safe at the end of the day. They see you out here maybe uh, beefing your berms up a little better than what they should be. Keeping your catwalks clean, keeping your plant areas clean, keeping your equipment clean, and then uh, repairing as they report them. I think it gives them confidence that the company is doing everything they can to give them a safe place to work. The safer an employee works, the less incident rates you have. The less incident rates you have, the more productivity you have. It also helps with morale. Employees are seeing managers and other workers walking around making the inspection and get excited about the fact that, hey, they're really looking at what's wrong and trying to find a way to fix it. Before anybody gets on a property doing anything, that's the first thing that happens. Once a workplace inspection has been done, they feel safe going in that area and working. You know, it would uh, possibly could save a life. It makes me feel better out on the job and know that he's done his job. Make sure that nothing is uh, going to get in the way to cause any accidents or any injuries. Well, that just means me just to do something safe where I ain't going to get hurt. I don't want to be damaged for life. When we look out for each other, nobody wants to see anybody get hurt here. Once they are done, I feel uh, that I can go into my work area, complete my job, and return safely home to my family. All of us want to return home unhurt at the end of each work day. So we have to work safely all day, all the time. You need to come up with a system that works for you to do an effective workplace examination. One way is to follow the production process through your mind from start to finish. So, let's start at the pit. Make sure to look at the pit floor. Is there any standing water? Have ground conditions changed since your last examination? Ground conditions along haul roads and benches can change rapidly. Inspect berms, walls, banks and slopes before work starts and watch for loose material throughout the shift. Make sure that the ground is stable. It's not just berms, banks and stable ground. There's a lot of other potential problems you need to look at too. Keep an eye on your mine's haul roads to see that they are clear of spilled material, graded for good drainage, and inspected closely for cracks or movement of ground. Properly constructed and maintained berms or guardrails will protect miners and equipment, and they need to be at least mid-axle height of the largest piece of mobile equipment using the roadway. At mine dump points, berms and bumper blocks need to be well constructed and maintained to prevent over-travel of equipment. Check dumps for cracks or signs of ground movement before dumping begins. If cracks are present, the operator must dump a safe distance back or dump in another location. Markers may be used to indicate an unsafe dumping area. Are areas blocked off at your operation? Are these areas barricaded, clearly marked, or guarded to prevent unauthorized entry? Material is processed after it's mined. Processing plants and installations are dangerous places. So, what should you look for here? Check travelways to see that they are kept clean and clear of tools, parts, and damaged or missing handrails. You'll need to look for loose steps and grating, weather-related hazards, or other hazards that could lead to slip and fall accidents, spilled materials, and rusted or damaged structures. Conveyors are dangerous because they have so many moving parts. 
Guards help to keep miners away from pinch points and from being caught and pulled into the conveyor system. Be sure to check the conveyors at your mine to see that all guards are in place. Guards are in good condition and securely installed and that emergency stop cords and railings are in place. At the plant's crusher control area, check for properly constructed bumper blocks, berms, and railings. Then check for damaged or deteriorated structures, safe access, and electrical defects. Also make sure your plant's startup alarm, communication system, and dust suppression system are all in good working order. Bins, hoppers, and loadout facilities are all sources of potential accidents. Also, make sure your mine's traffic signs are up to date and clearly visible. Maintenance and repair shops are vital parts of any mine. Start your examination by looking at general housekeeping throughout the shop. Look for slip, trip, and fall hazards, electrical problems, and potential fire hazards. Is there open access to all shop areas? Is proper personal protective equipment provided and worn correctly? Be sure that miners are properly using fall protection as needed. Now, let's look at more specific concerns such as is adequate illumination and ventilation provided? Are no smoking and open flame areas posted? Are welding areas shielded and ventilated? Are compressed gas cylinders and combustible materials stored properly? Are parts storage areas clean and organized? Look for damaged hooks and cables at hoists and cranes. Of course, you always want to make sure that miners are following safe work procedures and wearing appropriate personal protective equipment. Let's not forget to look at other areas, including the scale house, where you need to check berms on access ramps at the scales. In labs, toilet facilities, and lunchrooms, look for electrical hazards and ensure sanitary conditions. Does your mine have one or more surge tunnels? If it does, inspect the tunnel and look for safe access, air quality and ventilation, adequate lighting, electrical hazards such as faulty wiring, fittings or connections, a working communication system, operating conveyor startup alarms and required firefighting equipment. Also, remember to check the secondary escapeway if there is one. What do you need to do if there's a dredge at your mine? Dredges present some unique safety hazards. Begin your examination by looking at the workboat. Make sure that it is in good condition and that its design limits are not exceeded when carrying miners, equipment, or supplies. Drowning is a constant concern. Are life jackets of the correct type available and used by miners? Check travelways and walkways to make sure that they are clean and clear of obstructions such as tools, ropes, cables, spilled material, and debris such as grease, oil, ice, or standing water that could lead to slip and fall accidents. Look at the condition of cables and moorings on the dredge and on barges. Broken cables and moorings can be deadly. Examine guards. Are they in place and installed securely? Are any guards missing? You'll need to look for unprotected openings, low clearances, or other obstructions. A dredge handles a lot of pressurized material. Don't forget to look for defects and problems at pumps and along pipelines. Check lighting fixtures to see if they are weatherproofed and guarded. Remember to test audible and visible warning devices to make sure they work properly. Electricity and water is a dangerous combination. To help prevent possible electrical accidents, if there are ponds and sump areas at your mine, examine electrical connections, fittings, pumps, and control switches to make sure they are in safe working order. That sure is a lot to cover. And it seems to be even more since these examinations are ongoing throughout the workday. But the rewards are great. Regular and effective workplace examinations at your mine will help to reduce accidents and injuries by identifying and correcting problems. 
reduce downtime and costs, reduce violations, improve morale, and show everyone that they're part of a safety team. We have our safety meetings on Monday morning. And when the boys had a weekend off, I think it uh, reminds them that the, uh, gets them right back on track of safety first. By having the safety meetings every week and talking to these people, they, they do feel like more like uh, they're, they're on the team. How's everything going? Just fine. Hey, boss, look at the safety poster my kids made. Well, I tell you, that's special, and that gives you a good reason why work safe gone tonight, don't you? Yes, sir. Sure does. You guys have a good day. All Be right. careful. You too. What's in it for you? Going home, unhurt, at the end of the day. The number one goal for me is to go home and see mama and them babies. The workplace examination is very important to me because I like to leave like I come in safe. <laughs> At your mine site, everyone should keep an eye on ground conditions, roadways, traffic signs, and barricaded areas. Make sure your communication systems function properly. Follow safe work procedures and maintain good housekeeping when repairing equipment. And always wear the proper personal protective equipment. Wherever you go, check for safe electrical systems, proper ventilation, and adequate lighting. If water safety is a concern, use a properly designed work boat and wear life jackets. Remember, do a thorough workplace examination. Do your part for everyone's safety.